Hey there, Micah Bongberg, Vice President of Commercialization with Avai. I'm joined with Dr. Ben Abella. Right, what are some of the things that you've observed and studied with CPR, particularly lay public CPR, and some of the trends we're seeing with high performance CPR? Why is it so important? Over the years, we've learned that CPR quality has a huge impact on cardiac arrest outcomes. It sounds so simple and maybe even obvious, but it hadn't been obvious for decades of CPR training. What we've learned is that the way we perform CPR, the very details of depth, rate, leaning, hands-off time, make a huge difference. Probably much more of a difference in outcome than any of the medications we use in the emergency department. So it's really fundamental. And the actions taken in the field set a trajectory. So what I often tell people is whatever I do in the emergency room, the die is cast by what happens before me in the field. If a patient got good CPR and early response, I can work with that and I can help restore life in some cases. If someone didn't get good CPR or any CPR and had a long downtime, there's just not a lot I can do. I think one of the challenges we face is we've done such a good job messaging call 911. Now, I don't disagree with that message, but inherent in that message is just call 911. And that's a dangerous message because it's really against what we need, which is call 911 and, as opposed to call 911 and step aside.